I, that's my first time kind of doing this here, so uh, people could laugh, that'd be very helpful. <laughs> uh, if not, I will probably end up crying, I will leave, and that would not be fun for anyone here tonight. Um, I kind of came uh, tonight with the idea of uh, flying. Uh, I flew down south recently for an audition at a uni. Uh, it went well, but that's not the real thing that I'm going to chat about. Um, before. <laughs> I also added in a musical number last minute, but um, I, was, I was going to fly down through an EasyJet, which probably the worst choice of airline you can pick when trying to fly somewhere professionally, and I hope this retail kind of says enough. I, I just want to say, before you even kind of go to the airport, the best thing that you see is the EasyJet's don't bring list. Now most of this stuff is the, like the regular stuff where it's like, no liquids over a certain quantity, and then you have like guns, explosive, illegal drugs, which at that one it's kind of like a given, where it's like, illegal is in the name, you should know, if you're sad like, well, fuck, I was going to bring my illegal drugs on me about this easy jet flight, I'd be like, ah, oh, shit. Uh, and then by the end there's like, no acids, blow torches, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on this easy jet flight? I'm sat there, nervous as all shit now, and I get to the airport without my explosives or drugs or nothing. And I get, and I paid a bit of extra to go into the airport lounge. And I sat there, my first time ever in an airport lounge, and I'm at the buffet, and I'm, I'm trying to use what's like half spatula, half spoon, to like get these two sausages out of the buffet thing. And all I feel behind me is like a presence, just like staring at the back of my fucking skull, and I, it's like this kind of thing, we're just, <laughs> and I just sit there, I'm like, in a horror film, just slowly turn around, and it's a little old lady. <laughs> and I sat there and I went, I'm very sorry, I'm trying my best. That's my first time at an airport lounge. And then she responded with this phrase, which was, we all have to die at some point. <laughs> and at that point I was like, I don't think I drop anything about death in my phrase, I'm trying my fucking hardest, but fair enough. <laughs> and then she followed up with the most ominous question after that, which was, do you know where the knives are? And this week I go back and go, I think they're over there, and she good, and then walked away. And I'm now sat there, still fucking struggling, and she came over, now with knife in hand, and she said, Thanks for telling you where the knives are, which again, if you're trying to start off a fucking friendship, not the best way to start things off. And she just went, my husband, earlier on, forgot to get the cutlery. And I was like, that's good, you're only holding a knife. And not only that, talking about your husband in past tense. And I was like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. And she went, are you almost done getting the sausages out of the buffet? And I was standing there going, I think so. I remember she scooped the mention. Good. They all have to die at some point. And as she's like shaky hand holding this knife, it was kind of like I just read back her own motto to her. I was like, yes, we all do have to die at some point. And she went, yeah, yeah. And I sat down. And I, and I get to the, I, I have my dinner. I get to the airport, kind of check in queue. And I'm sat there and I'm like, this shit can't get any worse. I've just been told before I go hundreds if not thousands of feet in the fucking air that we all have to die at some point by, by this old lady which completely unfucking provoked decided to just bring up death and I sat down and I was going oh fuck T tonight can't get any worse and something I think people should know about me is when I say things can't get worse it's like a presence is looking down on me going things are about to get fucking worse and I don't know, I look up, and there's a guy with a tattooed barcode on the back of his neck. And I sit there and I go, what fucking product do you like so much that you get the, the barcode tattooed on the back of your neck? Don't like that. I, now I'm sat here with the thing of, can I ask him, or should I just, again, unprovoked, just kind of grab him from behind, get him to like, the nearest dummy each smell the self-service checkout and just beep him to see what it is. Because it's a, it must be a certain fucking thing he has on his neck. Certain company, certain product, certain everything. And I was so close and then I heard the EasyJet people going, you can now board the flight. 
And that's the worst thing to hear from EasyJet because this means that they're like, this is our time to show you why you bought the worst fucking flight company. And they go on the plane and they go, uh, oh, welcome to EasyJet. We're going from Edinburgh to uh, London Stansted. It is going to be very sunny this evening. We're going from a shite hole to sun. And you have to say them, so thank you for reminding us. And I'm on the plane and we take off very fucking fast. And as we're in the sky, it's all going fine. And just as we're coming down, now most planes when you're coming down, they like, say the landing's here. The plane will come down slow and smooth so that everyone feels kind of calm. Easy chair will pick any angle on this fucking axis and go, that's good, and then hope to God that no one dies of fucking heart attack. As we go, <laughs> And I remember sitting there, I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. I look out to my side, I'm now in London. And I can tell, not because we've arrived in London and the bat says we're in London, but because I look in the window and I see snow plows, at the front of a snow plow, on tractors. And there's me going, why are they on fucking tractors? And I remember, I'm in England and not Scotland. And I turn around to my right, again, I should not turn or make any fucking eye contact to anyone. And the person next to me, the fucking dramatist, they were going, and he says, that was the worst bumpy landing we've ever had. And like an evil Pixar guy just went, oh, oh, we all die at some point. Thank you very much.